In today's video, I'm gonna show you the four ways that I camp for free. Oh, hey, what's going on, YouTube? Greetings from the Nevada side of Lake Tahoe. So I often get asked about the cost of living, doing this full-time van life, RV living lifestyle. And my reply is usually, it actually is much cheaper than you think. One of the reasons is because I found a bunch of different ways to camp for free. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about the four different ways that I camp for free. And as a matter of fact, I'm actually in one of those free spots right now. So let's just jump right into this and go to the first way I camp for free. Okay, so the first method of camping for free I'm gonna talk about is called mooch docking. So what is mooch docking? Mooch docking is where you stay on a friend or family member's property, or like I am here, <laughs> I'm in the driveway of my friend's Airbnb. So he rented this Airbnb for a couple months and he said, hey, come and visit me here. I know you're in the area and you can just park in my driveway. And that's what I do. A bunch of my remote year friends are actually staying in this house. So there isn't enough room for me to actually camp in the house. So I'm just staying in my van out here in the parking lot, which is something I rather do anyway. When I visit friends and family in my van, they always say, oh, come inside and sleep in here. And I'm like, no, 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 this is my home. This is where I wanna sleep. This is where I feel comfortable. It's great to be able to travel with your home. So. Yeah, mooch docking is a great way to camp for free. There is one caveat here. You've got to be careful with condo association and homeowners association rules. You got to make sure that they allow RVs and converted vans to be parked in the neighborhood. Sometimes they don't, and you don't want to get your friends or family members fined by the homeowners association. If you have a network of friends and family throughout the country, this is a great way to camp for free. I mentioned before I was in the military for 20 years. I did a program called Remote Year, a one-year travel program, and I have a bunch of friends from the military and from that Remote Year travel program scattered across the country, and they all invite me to stay in their driveway when I'm driving through. So it really is a cool way to camp for free and reconnect with friends and family. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below telling me where you're watching from. The YouTube algorithm will show this video to more people, the more thumbs up and the more comments I have. So I appreciate you doing that. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. So another option for free camping is a Walmart parking lot. To be honest with you, it's it's not my first choice. It's probably usually my last choice. But when you're in a bind, you can almost find a Walmart anywhere. And most of them allow RVs to park in their parking lot for the night. As you'll see, there's a bonder, a bounder over there. Uh, there is a van and trailer behind me. There's another van over there and there is a class C over there. There's usually a section of the Walmart parking lot where they let RVs park. We're over in a corner here, as you can see. I'm in Butte, Montana, by the way. So if you're ever in Butte, Montana, and you're in a pinch and you need a spot to park, you can park at this Walmart. So over there's the Walmart, the main parking lot, and then we're over here. So in a pinch, like I mentioned, this is a great option for some free camping. All right, we're at our next free place to camp. It's a Cracker Barrel. To me, if you're gonna camp in a city or a town, this is probably one of the best options. Uh, most Cracker Barrels have an RV section and they allow people to park in their parking lot overnight. One of the real cool things about it is you can wake up the next morning and get like their $6 breakfast. Yeah, so this is another option when you're in a pinch. All right, so now my favorite spot on the list, the last thing I'm going to talk about is Bureau of Land Management or BLM land and National Forest land. I'm currently on BLM land here in California 
And look at this place. <laughs> like I have it all to myself. It is forest fire time, so it is a bit smoky in the hills. Um, but I mean, it's still pretty grand nonetheless. This is called Fossil Lake or Fossil Creek, something like that, just south of Mammoth. So pretty, pretty cool. So the great thing about National Forest and BLM land is it's government owned and it's for the people's use. So if you're in the United States, you can camp on BLM land and National Forest land for free. Um, there are campgrounds on BLM land and National Forest land sometimes that you have to pay for. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the dispersed camping, the free stuff, and it's everywhere. If you've been watching my channel for a while, um, you'll remember I camped at a spot in the Tetons with these beautiful pink flowers with view of the Tetons. It was amazing. I camped at Henry's Lake Idaho, right on the lake, that was BLM land. The place by the Tetons that I just mentioned was National Forest land. I stayed in Salida on BLM land, which was amazing. And then in Leadville, Colorado, if you remember, I stayed at a paid campground, paid like 60 or $70 a night, and it was a dump. And just outside of Leadville, I found National Forest land to camp on that was amazing. And I stayed there for, I think like two weeks. So with BLM land and National Forest land, like I mentioned, you can stay up to 14 days. Um, some BLM land and National Forest land will have tighter restrictions, but if they do, um, there'll be notices posted where it'll say like, you can only stay here for five days. Like one of the spots we stayed in outside of the Tetons, about 10 miles outside of it, was five days only, but that was still amazing. It was along a river, uh, it was great. All right, so those are the ways you can camp for free. You can mooch dock, like staying in somebody's driveway. Um, you can stay in a Walmart parking lot, you can stay in a Cracker Barrel, or you can do what I love to do and stay on BLM land like this or in a national forest for free. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. So in this video, damn it. Come on, Kevin. Oh my God, this freaking mic. Uh, if you're in a town. Uh. Hello, hello, hello. And then in Leadville, Colorado, I stayed on. You can mooch dock staying at somebody's. The in somebody's driveway for free. Nah, I jacked that up. <laughs> and then in Leadville, Colorado, I stayed in National Fort. Ah, that freaking bug. <laughs> That'll be a good outtake. Filling out my cup, coffee talk on the screen porch. So in love, now you're the one I'm losing sleep for. And I hope the wrong one slip right through your magic fingers. And I hope we find some way to fall in love like we were. Yeah, you're the only reason I was California dreaming in the first place.